so for the month of July, I had decided to do a um, grocery challenge. During this process, I had decided to, for my family of five, I decided to spend $50 a week. Yes, $50 a week for the month of July on groceries. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Bible with the Guzmans. I am at work, so um, I wanted to do my intro, outro, because I've been so busy lately and um, I wanted to get this information out to you. For the month of July, I had decided to do a um, grocery challenge because um, you know I have some goals in life that I want to achieve and you know I do feel like one of the easiest places for me to um, cut back is on groceries. I've been watching a couple people channel and everything and I've been inspired uh, to drastically cut my expenses because I'm like if they can do it why can't I? I live in Florida and um, I do think I think that we have some of the highest grocery prices. I don't know. So basically what I'm doing to try and reach that goal of $50 a week is I'm using rebate apps, coupons, um, any kind of rebates that are going on outside of rebate apps, uh, which I'll go into further detail on a, a future video. I'm using those things to help uh, offset my expenses because at the end of the day my goal is to not go beyond the $50 a week right now I have a family of five and so that means every two weeks I'll pay I'll, I'll get $100 for groceries then I set a budget for every two weeks we get $30 as a budget for any household goods so whether it's laundry detergent or any kind of personal care needs it has to come from that $30 budget I quickly discovered in the first week that um, this is gonna be more challenging than I expected for the first week I, I do have my notes here so my first week was $82 and 79 cents and I spent six dollars and eight six dollars and 87 cents on the household for the first week the second week worth of groceries uh, for grocery I spent $21 and 53 cents and the household was $15 and 13 cents as you can see um, I was just a little bit above the hundred dollar goal and for the for the household goal I was underneath right I think the easiest way for me to do this is to split it so I'm doing $70 as the budget goal for first week for my grocery expenses and then the next week I could do 30 um, that seems to be helping out just a little bit better than trying to stick to the $50 honestly um, if you're interested in joining this will continue I was considering increasing it to uh, $75 a week in the month of August but after discussing it with my husband and everything he was like no I think we're doing pretty good with the the 50 like you know we have things in the house and I'm telling you like when I'm trying to find every single way to make it work I definitely am so uh, when you see my hauls just keep in mind at the end of the day my goal is to not spend more than uh, that desired amount cash out of pocket but if I do get anything extra it's coming from coupons rebate apps or rebates uh, that are going on uh, which I'll definitely be sure to link the different rebate apps that I use, the different rebates that are going on that I'm using, and um, if I can, I'll definitely show you in the video the coupons that I'm using. Thank you so much if you're interested in joining. Uh, I'll, ha I'll have on my next video what I think is a good rule of thumb to um, set your budget at. So that'll be on my next video for weeks uh, for week four. Uh, so this one again had to be combined because of um, 4th of July okay okay everybody so here's the cereal that I bought for the second week at CVS CVS is a really good store to shop at um, sometimes because I was able to get those cereals for $1.99 each and I got this great value Fiesta blend cheese at Walmart um, but in regards to the cereals, it, I was able to get it for $1.53 after all the coupons and the um, 
uh, extra care bucks that came off so a dollar 53 out of pocket when they're supposed to be a dollar 99 each is an amazing deal and plus i got an extra 50 cents back from ibotta making those uh boxes uh what a quarter uh then i went over to hey baby okay so i went over to it was in dixie and i got these um chicken nuggets no did i go to win dixie and get those chicken nuggets yeah win dixie so anyway i went to win dixie because they had these chicken nuggets buy one get one free and the chicken patties were also buy one get one free and there was an amazing deal on ibotta hello you gotta sign up link in the description box below but um we were able to get six dollars and 44 cents back on the chicken patties and i got back twelve dollars and 44 cents on the chicken nuggets so that made for an amazing deal when they're already buy one get one free so um they were almost completely free for these four bags but um when dixie's prices were just a little bit higher so anyway moving on either way to get all of this food um because we're looking at what like right there we've got 8.8 .8 pounds of chicken nuggets like and i hardly paid anything out of pocket that's just a great deal moving on to the uh dove soap over here i got these items from publix so there's a coupon for dove items that say uh if you get five no if you get three items you get five dollars off and um they also had a two dollars off each item coupon so that's why i grabbed that and then I got this Colgate Optic White, which was buy one, get one free. And then they had a $4 off coupon. So I was able to get these two Optic White Sensitive Toothpaste for only 50 cents. And those um, soaps, I ended up paying $4. So let's see what else we got in this grocery haul besides these things right here. I was really excited about this grocery haul here because what I like to do with my Ibotta rewards is I always grab a $20 gift card or in this case it was $21.10 gift card because um, I like to use that to offset my expenses, right? So I was proud to come in less than the $21 and change. It came in at $20.01 to be exact. So I was able to get everything here for free. The chips came in at $1.94. The spaghetti I was able to get for 99 cents or 98 cents. Um, I'm always going to stock up on some spaghetti. We did need to get some salt. That came in at about 67 cents. Um, we've got some mustard that was 98 cents. I did pick up five bananas or was it four? Looks like four bananas and those are on rollback right now for 50 cents a pound of bananas i need to get some aluminum foil and i'm very impressed with the quality of the great value aluminum foil it feels good quality um i love using this caribbean jerk marinade um put it on chicken ribs you know whatever you want i love it i also had to get uh one box of the Kraft macaroni and cheese that was a dollar and 24 cents uh, we always got to stay stocked up on that because, you know, we have kids in the house. Um, I went ahead and got one pound of the Great Value Ham. That was $4.12. And I needed some garlic powder. So that uh, had to pick up as well. I think it was like a dollar, a dollar twelve. Now, I had to get also some tubes. These little yogurt tubes are $1.78. And this is one of my household's favorite ice creams. Like, hands down, if you are into cookies and crime i'm sorry cookies and crime <laughs> cookies and cream ice cream then um i highly recommend you try out the great value my husband and everybody loves you it do? because it's very like chunky it's great value. with the cookies where like some of the other ones they don't have all the chunks then i took my aunt over to this uh, discount grocery store and I spent $16 on these items. And I think that's like the lowest amount that I've ever spent at the discount grocery store. But let's go over that really quickly. Um, I did get these candy bars. They had them uh, six for a dollar. As you can see, like there's one already missing. This bologna was 75 cents. I'm planning on using that to make 
grilled bologna and cheese sandwiches. I don't know if that sounds... Oh, with egg, of course. So a grilled bologna egg and cheese sandwich is what I'm going to make with that for breakfast one day. Um, hopefully it tastes good. I don't want to like throw it away or anything, but a pound of bologna for 75 cents. I couldn't leave it there. I have bought this from them in the past. It's the uh, Genoa salami. Oh my gosh. The taste on this is so good. And they had them for $2.50. So I made sure when I went this time that I grabbed two, I'm going to put one in my freezer. Um, and then those are the chocolate bars that they had. Uh, so they were selling them six candy bars for a dollar so i went ahead and i picked up a variety for uh the family these um they're like protein bars um but they're all natural <coughs> excuse me clean ingredients they were also six for a dollar so oh, this is one of my favorite um flavors of it the chocolate sea salt and i went ahead and i grabbed that because you know when i go to work i want a little snack um, I can just have one of those. I also picked up this sweet chili um, sauce from Frank's Red Hot. I had recently made a, a recipe that called for sweet chili sauce, and um, I finished what I had, so I wanted to replenish it. That was $1.99. The Little Debbie's Mini Muffins. Unfortunately, when I went, this was the only box that they had, but of course I had to grab it because my little one loves the confetti um, mini muffins so this was a dollar fifty so as you can see like you're already paying at least half off of what you would normally buy in stores this find right here I was really excited about because I love the Stacy's pita chips and we were able to get this over one pound bag for guess what guys three dollars and fifty cents and it's organic you know I I just really love this little grocery haul here. So again, I paid about $16.43 uh, out of pocket for these items. Thank you again. And if you're interested in following this journey, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much to all of my current subscribers. And, you know, we greatly appreciate you sticking through. You know, I definitely want to continue growing this channel and just being like an inspiration if I can to help and show you how to get everything that you want or need at the lowest price possible because that is my mission love y'all thank you so much to my new subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead get into that and um it's free so around here we do love free so i hope y'all have a blessed day i gotta get back to work and uh you take care